absence of my envy. Remember the times I'd done the same to guys I could never call mine. The majority of us are still figuring things out or seeing someone. Meeting after work, nightfall worn as clothes, helps him undress you into his ex's skin. This you know. TV made me believe public displays of affection meant exclusivity. That's not true now, is it? For too long I held the needs of temporary people above my own. Fairy tales taught me how to make the perfect picture, transforming a moment of kindness into something timeless. Isn't this love at first sight? I was like water fitting any vessel needed at the time searching for the missing piece of me in someone else's masterpiece. Now older, life has drawn skeptical lines, filled in the white. These stories are how we brainwash young minds with capitalist ideals. I no longer blame my solitude on my race, star sign or child rearing. And I have you to thank. Vulnerable. I was able to end my self-neglect, learned how to utilize and cultivate my own strength. The love I have for myself has been a subtle drumbeat rising in crescendo. There is a difference between vanity and self-belief, but at this exact moment, I am the best version of me. The serenity of singleness has me asking men, speak now or forever hold your peace. I have given up the thirst of being wanted, the patience for question marks, the desire for pores and apostrophes. It's just a spark, but it's enough to keep me going. And when it's dark out, no one's around, it keeps glowing. Full stop. Some seek the silence to obliterate the senses. No. no. Some seek the silence to ignore consequence. Shun. Sure. Some seek the silence to run away. Go. Wrong. Only the righteous fear silence today. Wrong. Language locked bodies battling the limits of the tongue. Language locked bodies learning to love without the word, leaning towards a world that works, language locked bodies. The avatars of desperate poets, what more can we do but plead with an indifferent audience? And are we not those language locked bodies, bound by the suits we wear like a masquerade to mask our need for aid? And the tie is a noose on throats that strangles the voice and forces you to choke, to choke. <laughs> To choke on our words like our mother tongues are still on those planes, on the wind rush waiting, waiting for their children to come back and claim them, claim them, claim them, and they speak on everything, anything, from the sometimes sour, sometimes sweet mystery of clementines and clemency. They say the word is tyrant. Shh. They say we cannot speak it. Shh. Brutally, literally, like our realities. Do, Do you, you feel, feel it? it? Nowadays it's all a bit too PC. PC. 
all these artists and activists, people, protests and politics, rhymers, writers and narrators, do you feel it? Shh. Like you were being forced to be an actor or a factor. You were unfairly affected by the affairs of others. You do not want to be a part of, but apart from. You might be suffering from. Shh. And how can I blame you? No space for that noise. We all have bills to pay. Places to be yesterday. yesterday. Even if you want to speak up, there's no time to talk. Because time is money and you have none. Because we all know only, only money, money talks. talks. If you suffer from, you might have a tendency to see the world burn just so you can get some sleep. We buy headphones and Netflix. I gotta work, I gotta eat. Vice, desire, coffee, something, something. Sorry, sir, I have no change. I got places, places to be yesterday. I thought I said that. I thought I said silence sells cheap solutions. Silence sings sweetly. Silence surrenders to apathy. Silence shuns the needy. Silence in the quiet mind. Silence in the racing mind. Is it sibilance or my psychic that, the, that says the source of my stanzas is the struggles of stragglers? I'm an artist. But how can I art without the heart? How can I write without the fight? How can I teach without the speech? The effects of this disease of apathy is the constant reproduction of oppression. I say disease, but I mean plight because did you not hear? The plight of the column of the damned when the heavens were blackened, blackened by black smoke, raising colored bodies to ashes, to ashes, to ashes. We say our share, but has it not been definitely silent? Was it not silent when they called for dark skin to be dragged through the streets? Shh. Was it not silent when they whispered prayers and plucked the tasby, said three holy Marys, then turned the other cheek? Shh. Was it not silence we received when we begged to learn, to love, to eat, to live? Has it not been silent since? Silence is a privilege. privilege. And I ain't white enough for that shit. To exist in my skin is to sometimes swallow the rage that burns your throat. It's, it's to, to know, know that, that white that women's tears, tears are called guns. guns. It's, it's to question whether I'm loved or a fetish. It's to hope that my unjust death is viral and my mistakes are not the only news. I, I can't, can't afford the silence. silence. That questions if Grenfell is a tragedy or a murder. I, I can't, can't afford, afford the silence. silence. That doubts if beastly caricatures of Serena are racist. I, I can't, can't afford, afford the silence. silence. That reduces my pain to a joke. See, if I do nothing. If I say nothing. If, if I, I stay silent, silent in the face of truth. I become, become complicit in the lie. If I ignore the facts, the countless atrocities told by the wounded, if I believe the fables told as history, then the British Empire would be great, and our country would not be littered with statues of pilferers and slave masters. We colonize real empires. Facts. Erased native histories. Facts. Stole the wealth. Facts. Twisted religions. All facts. Rule Britannia. We wear cultures for costumes, we whitewash our own history. Do I wear the blame? Do I carry the shame? Or do I dismantle oppressive systems my ancestors built and I benefit? See, if I do nothing, if I say nothing, if I stay silent in the face of truth, I become complicit in the lie. Baptizing our children in bleach, trying to cast the darkness out of them, trying to teach self-hate, as healing. Mental, Mental scars are inherited birthmarks. I can't wear my heart on my sleeve cause we're too busy peeling our skin. Trying to find that beauty that lies within. We, we forget, forget Britain, Britain lied to win. We forget scriptures lied, our skin was sin. We, we forget, forget this silence is a world that was forced on us. us. String us along like violins. Stand still like a mannequin in front of this mirror panicking. I can't stay silent. I won't stay silent until the caste system is killed and buried in the graveyard where silence belongs. See, if I do nothing, if I say nothing, if I stay silent in the face of truth, I become complicit in the lie. The image society projected on screens for decade magazines not equipped to market people like me. Where, Where do, do I fit? Fight to see my perspective a fallen angel with a broken wing. Where, Where do, do I, I fit? fit? Can't 
Had inner beauty, but my outer is unsightly. Deformed images, Photoshop, shot Frankenstein's melting pot is how you view me. I am not less than, but where, where do, do I, I fit? See, if I do nothing, if, if I, I say nothing, if I stay silent in the face of truth, I become complicit in the lie. They say, they say silence, silence is golden. But truth be told, it's getting old being told to only speak when spoken to. They spend the first two years teaching us to walk and talk and the rest of our lives telling us to sit, sit down, down and shut up. up. Since the first day at school, told that they're the ones that break the rules and we're the ones to follow them. Silence, Silence is a virtue. virtue. But what's virtuous about following the rules of masters that don't have in their hearts the interest of the masses? Silence, Silence is, is compliance. A sign of acceptance of the status quo. But well, hold up, let me ask a question. Let, let me, me see your hands up. up. It's funny we receive the same instructions from teachers and policemen. You have, have the, the right, right to remain silent. silent. But do I have the right to stand up and speak up against violence? Take, Take them, them to church. church. The opium of the masses, when molesting little boys is traditional practice. Don't, Don't have, have to, to pay, pay taxes, because the priests and politicians and media in bed with the bankers. But can, can you, you pass, pass the, the test? test? Sit and write all you can. In, in silence. silence. And try to stay in the lines. That's how they evaluate us. Time's up. up. Pens down. Wait to see what grade I'm assigned now. Get, Get to, to work. work. Head down. Overtime. Working myself into the ground. Home One time. time. Wind down. Telly on. Lights down. I might be wasting my life, but at least Britain's, Britain's got, got talent. talent. Round up the news. Filtering the truth. History told by the victors. Same as it ever was. Atrocities ignored. Excuses for war. Mixed up with distractions and celebrity scandals. Just, Just sit, sit there, there in, in silence. silence. Watching in awe as the towers fall down. The Taliban begin to portray all Muslims as terrorists. False, False flags, flags and freedoms floating in the wind. Totalitarianism is established gradually. Can't speak out against it when anything outside the mainstream narrative is considered offensive. Can't say a word without being labelled a, a conspiracy, conspiracy theorist. theorist. But look at the facts that nearly half of America's prison population is black and they're the lucky ones not to be shot in their backs. Silence, Silence is violence. violence. Bystanders watching atrocities like the neighbours of Kitty Genovese. Obedience to authority. authority. I'll do anything you tell me. Flicking switches off in my conscience like Stanley. Human, Human experiments. experiments. Kids being addicted to medicines. Tagged with mental disorders for disobedience. Health, Health is, is a, a weapon. weapon. That's why the most powerful organisation in the States is the Food and Drug Administration. But, but what, what will you say when? They take the same steps over here and our NHS disappears. The, the government, government are, are fools. fools. But who's the greater fool last Obi-Wan? The fool or the fool that follows him? Silence, Silence is golden. golden. Wandering down yellow brick roads to find the wizards of frauds. Everything they touch turns to dust like the opposite of Midas. Silence, Silence is violence. violence. When compliance only leads to the same consequence. Honestly, we're just as responsible. And still there was silence. When they infiltrated our homes and tapped into our phones. Hey, well at least we got good Wireless. wireless. And still, still there, there was silence. silence. Millions of animals murdered every day for no purpose but taste. We're turning the fertile earth into wasteland. Mother nature's crying. We're changing the climate. Open your third eye and see if you can hear the tears of the voiceless. And still, still there, there was, was silence. silence. When the cost of water exceeded the cost of oil, people fighting for survival closer to home than we ever imagined, and still there'll be silence. And still there'll be silence. And still there'll be silence when they release the virus that turns us all into mindless zombies, violence and riots unleashed in every city, and we come crawling on our knees into quarantine, queuing up for the vaccine, sign away our lives to false refuge, shooting nanobots into our spinal fluid, controlling and producing precursor behaviours on a normal molecular basis, and all of us praise them like they're the ones that saved us, like taking away our last remnants of human nature, Placed by artificial intelligence, identity overridden, complicity is given. Time's, Time's up. up. So tell me, what, what will, will you, you say, say then? then? Yeah. <laughs> I was just walking around Hyde Park and I saw a tree that was different from the rest. Its leaves were all red, that means it's stressed. Because the cold nights and dry days are putting it to the test. So why do these autumn colours make us feel so blessed? I guess it's kind of like cactuses and the flowers they make. All kind of colours, sizes and shapes, but cactuses only flower when they're trying to mate. They're fighting for their lives and we're like, let's Instagram that, it looks great. Because we love seeing things trying to prove themselves. And everything you see has its own tale to tell. Because it's trying its best to stand out from something else. Trying to be the best and trying to excel. I wish I could be like those trees, leaves and flowers. But in big crowds, 
I'm no more than a coward. No more silence. If you've got something to say that's not been said, and something to write that's not been read, then bring that into existence. You might have the look, but I want to see the work. I want to read the book. I want to hear the verse. Stop following them. You should want to be the first, so they all see your worth. But it still doesn't matter if they don't see it, because if you do, that's all you need. Nobody else. Nobody's help. Your biggest opponent's only yourself. Look, I'm trying to listen, but have you ever been in my position? I've been crashing again, clashing with those I've been classing as friends. They promise the world they come and go, but I'm still here. They're moving on to better things while well, I'm stuck in the same place, trying to make this take shape, because I see what they don't. Working when they're sleeping. They said they'd be there, but they won't. They said they'd be here this evening. Look, I used to feel alone, so I just took my own road. And listen, no matter how high you want to climb, you've got to believe you'll get your time to shine. Follow your own path, not someone else's signs. And don't forget, out of 12 million sperm, you were first to cross the line. See, it's a miracle that you're even here. Anyone else could have been born, but it's you who appeared. But don't get too comfortable. We're only here a few years. But death is life's best invention. So love every laugh and treasure every tear. You were not born to be silenced. Because who wins if you keep quiet? Cheats, abusers and liars. And keeping that mouth shut is not going to stop their terror, hate and violence. So stay woke and show your defiance. Are you really woke when you think of it though? We're sleepwalking within this coma of privilege. It's like we can't be woken. Our collective heartbeats broken. Consumed in a trend in a phase. In pursuit of the rep we connect to the phrase. Nowadays you've got to be seen. You say you're awake but it's not what it seems. When you think of it though, we're sleepwalking within this. Thinking we're symbols of hope, but the system we said we opposed is stitching our clothes. It's the flick of a switch in our homes, the drip in the sink, the click of the link, and the code that's put into our phones. Everything's instant. We're shrinking the distance, but living alone. Well, I'm hearing a lot of complaints. How are you going to set the record straight? I don't want to see the image of resistance. I want to see the action behind it. Being one can't justify your silence, so don't say that you're acting like it. When the surface is always seen, the projection of purpose is always being. We can't get to the substance now. It's the way that we're living that's shutting us down. You've filtered it, altered it, cropped it. But isn't it time that you stopped it? It's ticking the clock, is it ticking the box? You got the message, then blocked it. You got led to the coma. That's when it was over. Leaving the change, the compass enough. Ignoring your chance to summon it up. So why blend in with the rest? Falling silent with the world at your fingertips. Holding back and scrolling past. There's pressure, but you're not lifting it. Just making the numbers up craving to be understood. So if there's a chance for change, then maybe it's up to us. Let's carry the fire and keep it hot, because life's too short to aim lower than the top. Our voices are weapons. And let's not be afraid to take a shot and show them what we got. This justice system is disgusting. News just in, lawful killings are not hidden nor the over-representation of black males in prison. Whilst criminalism is ridden through all races, places, innocent faces, Christian faith is famous for destroying anus and when they criminalise us, they're not trying to save us, nor to change the pre-arranged, just shame, tame. Contain those wilder flames as they warm their fat feet on the fire that fuels their immunity. Who even are they who monopolise this game? You'll find them. Sitting in peace, first class reserved seat on a virgin again, age in frame, holding tight pride, a titanium name, and there they stay. Because they know they'll see pain if they come to the back of the train. Now, I'm not saying for one second that any man should not be thriving. But there's a difference of condition we're expected to survive in. Some mothers suffering while others' piggy hands just dive in. And before I talk a personal experience, let me widen the horizon, because we're living in a world where three times as many people die from obesity-related illnesses than the long, drawn-out effects of starvation. Where the top ten leading causes of death, their diseases of excess from too much stress and a lifetime are saying, I could have drunk less. Symptoms of West, heart attack, pneumonia, stroke, Alzheimer's. 
They happened to happen to loved characters, legendary old timers who had a long life and a beautiful wife before the nephritis set in and after a while they just let in the idea of death. Knowing they'll leave smiles past their very last breath. Number 10 is suicide. And bless them. Because they committed to value in the absence of life's lessons. They came, they did their time, and it's mad that suicide is even a crime because some of us are given hills that are just too steep to climb and never got a leg up. But much, much lower down on this list. A problem that shouldn't still fucking exist. Let me say this as I clench my fist. I urge you to do the same. Clench your fists. Everyone. And look at it for a minute. Because this is the size of your stomach. There just is more than enough food to feed every hungry person on this earth, but there is not nearly enough compassion, responsibility or organisation to enable the statistically few to cease making choices like do I feed my infant dirty water today or nothing? And pray, oh child, I'm sorry I brought you into this place, but currently the currency of our skin is worthless. It's just political waste. It didn't always used to be this way. It just is right now. Okay, I'm sorry you'll never grow to have an old man's face or even know enough substance to get off it to make mistakes. The thing about this world, child, is we tend to stay in our allocated spaces and I'm sorry it's us that wake up to mass graves because we all know that the law has abolished slaves. But how much are we getting paid to ignore the screams of those being crushed at the bottom while we're airlifted to somewhere safe? Thank you. Mahia Jarimati. Mada fa'altum hatta istahiqu daka. لأولد ولموت في سجن مفتوح يا غازة ليس كذاب ولا ليس لكون حقيقة ربي ساعدني. And what was my crime? What, what cruel sins, sins did you commit to deserve this apartheid? ربي ساعدني. God please help me. Bismillah. You're not even seen as human. Just a parasite, as the world refuses to acknowledge your plight, that only condemn you when you attempt to return the fight. Nothing comes in and nothing leaves unless your oppressor has control. But the world doesn't seem to care whenever your story is told. You stand against tanks with a rock your only ammunition, but you can barely raise your hand to throw it due to intended malnutrition. They control your food, your water, and medical supplies, giving you just enough so you barely survive. The occupation of your land is against international law. The crimes against your human rights continue to be ignored and no one seems to care. And no one will stand for you. And the world superpowers don't just support, but fund the monster that's devouring you. And what was my crime? What, what cruel sins, sins did you commit to deserve, deserve this apartheid? To be born and to die in an open air prison. Because that's what Gaza is. No lies, just realism. No prospects of ever leaving. Just continue grieving as everyone around you perishes. First to waste, then eventually to death. And you were condemned to this existence for the moment you drew your first breath. So what was your crime? Because this must be your punishment. It must have been atrocious if this is the consequence. Because this is the plight of the people of Palestine. There is no justification that you can find to accept that these people or any people deserve this fate. Simply being born in the Palestinian state means you've been condemned to death. Because when you were born in Gaza, you were born already dead. In the same prison in which the people that came before you bled. And the world refuses to admit your nation's existence but arm your oppressors instead. And no one seems to care. Amen. Sadaqallahu al-Azim. And no one seems to care. This is the Palestinian people's plight. Out of mind, out of sight. How do we sleep at night? How do we stand aside and allow this injustice to continue where day after day we close our eyes and remain silent? Nuridu adal al-Falestin. Free Palestine. Nuridu al-adal al-Falestin. Free Palestine. Nuridu al-adal al-Falestin.
satisfy my soul. Satisfy my soul. Satisfy my soul. Satisfy my soul. Feeling blue. I've outed the old and I'm waiting for the new. I'm trying to trust that my body will see me through. Lost in the space where once there was you. Everything was simple when first I awoke. Now all I do is look on and think and search, toke by toke by toke. Sometimes life just seems like one great big joke, a dance that walked, a song that spoke. And I sit here staring at these simple, sleepy folk. And I wish I was like them. Satisfy my soul. Six months on and still I'm lost, using external pleasures to satisfy my deep lust. Thrill-seeking has become my state of mind, and what about my duty to mankind? It never leaves my side like an unrelenting tide, a weight bearing down on my sore shoulders. Not a day goes by I haven't cried. Satisfy my soul. Still struggling to find my identity, after my identity has been split in two. When you derive so much of your sense of self from an other, when all's said and done, how do you tell what's you? Picking up the pieces, learning my weaknesses, chaos in the mind and love in the heart. A battle to find something true. Satisfy my soul. When the subconscious and the self-conscious collide, what lies in between? Separation, confusion, influences, illusion, I can't see through. Satisfy my soul. I'm caught up in thought, up in the clouds and in my body, even though I know that's not me. Ego, why won't you just set me free? Can't you see? Why won't you believe me? Oh, darling, darling, I'm calling, calling. Can't you see? Why won't you believe me? Oh, darling, darling, I'm calling. bones hold. Other bodies, ghosts, me ancestors' herbs, calcium, minerals, muscle, gristle, mother's milk, fears, cow's milk, tears. Childhood falls and A&E trips, shock, a likeness to the surface of the moon or other less exotic rocks. And what does my body know? Sometimes I fear for my feet, for my left knee and right shoulder which feels minutely dislocated. I live in my body fully. It never lies. But sometimes I still punish it smoke fags and guzzle booze, ingest questionable substances, insert alien objects, leave great bruises or toxic shock on my insides. I know my wide feet are all the better for dancing with. I know the size of my eyes is no reflection of the depth of my soul. I know my sore shoulder was born of lesson learning in the blankness of a blizzard. I know my right thumb sticks, because it were once a trigger. But language still dictates that our bodies are separate. We can love them, hate them, ignore them, berate them. A binary mind that thinks it knows it all, even dares to suggest that we possess them. Why is this even possible? 
I know enough to know that my body thinks just as much as my brain does. I've felt that my body knows and learns in ways that words can't really grab hold of. I know that touch is a form of communication just as much or even more so than the sentences we speak or the ones we read. I'm learning a lot by listening intently to the last of the late great quiet places, the landscape of my body. Because we might not want to hear it, but our bodies speak and they want equality, not only for concepts, but for whole selves as unified mind bodies. I saw it on a documentary once. Other cultures did it different. Human beings weren't split into halves because we were, and always will be, circular, integrated, a continuum. Love heals, hate kills. People are angry, they can't pay the bills. In this chaos, I can't focus, but we didn't choose this time, it chose us. Hate crimes increasing, rise in fear, even for people that were born here. The government running for the hills, people are angry, they can't pay the bills. Maybe it was myths about immigration or people angry at their situation, and maybe if we learn to look back, we think before we act. No one deserves a racial slur. Go back to your country, completely absurd. Leave or remain, the air we breathe is the same. Talk to me, talk to each other, explain. If we stay silent, escape the debate, we will keep making the same mistakes. The rest of the world wasn't uncivilised till we arrived. We're taught half the story, so I'm not surprised. From the mathematicians of Mesopotamia to the iron constructions of Knox in Nigeria, the Mali empires of Timbuktu, inspirational leaders like Nani Maroon. Britain is the home of invasion. One of the world's finest tourist destinations. Romans, Anglo-Saxons, Vikings, Normans, why don't they all go back? Over time, this got reversed. The British Empire invaded 90% of the earth, so who really has a claim to our land? Yet some see immigration's got out of hand. But we love to order their takeaways. Immigrants leech benefits and take our jobs away. It's easier to blame the other for our misery. It's happened time and again through history. All I'm saying is, are we sure immigration's the reason so many are poor? What about the banks? What about austerity? They escape the blame oh so cleverly. What about Panama? What about our wars? What about paying to be immune to the law? What about the lies, the deceit and the treachery? What about patronising privileged pompous pricks trying to lecture me? What about selling off our NHS, our schools, our transport, our community centres, our privacy, our oxygen, our futures, our children's futures? You could say this country is a mess. But we're still pretty lucky, still pretty blessed. We'll be just fine. I'll get myself fixed. But nah, it's not fine. So I'll get myself fixed. I'm not saying don't be proud to be British. I'm just trying to figure out what that means. So talk to me, talk to each other and listen. Let's work together to achieve our dreams. Leave or remain, the air we breathe is the same. Talk to me, talk to each other, explain. If we stay silent, escape the debate, we will keep making the same mistakes. One third of the deaths in police custody since 1990 were ethnic minorities, but tell me, does justice and equality feel like a priority? Institutional racism in the Met, here are the names of some who've died that we quickly forget. In the US, King, Diallo, Brown, Castile, Sterling, Martin, too many to write down here. Tomlinson, Duggan, Reed, Bayo, Gardner, may they all rest in peace. Black Lives Matter. We used to have slavery and minstrel shows. That was entertainment, the status quo. We may have come a long way since then, but we still have so much further to go. So how do we heal and build tolerance and unity? We could share what we have in common as a community. That was a line said by many, including Joe Cox. So until things get better, let's pull out all the stops because no one deserves a racial slur. Go back to your country, completely absurd. Leave or remain, the air we breathe is the same. Talk to me, talk to each other, explain. Because if we debate and relate and create, we can reclaim together our fate. Beastly people with beastly religions who are breeding like rabbits. Winston Churchill. Do you see me as human yet? The fading empire put dreams in our heads. Some took boats, others flew over to the golden land. 
The truth was, it was a bogus plan. We got folded, man. Integration wasn't easy like holding hands. Intercepted by bald heads with sharp tools and blunt statements. Cut our culture like circumcision. Now you stir some reason why certain races should be treated like fair of season. Sorry, no colored people allowed at this table. Only on the front line or in the mines with the miners and those poorer white peoples? Do you see me as human? Yet, yeah. I am man, like Iron Man. I keep an eye on man, because in the past, you've pulled an iron on man. Made from melanin, originators of medicine, you made many think that this skin carries many sins. While you have men attending prayers, singing hymns, pretending things didn't happen like slashing skin to cashing in to flashy things. History's awful, like fake bling that rashes skin. Do you see me as human yet? Because your lying abilities regarding your liabilities for liberty and humankind was for finance and not for peace. If you was born in 94, you was alive during the apartheid, old enough to see Stephen Lawrence alive, old enough to remember Saddam, and damn sad to see who is sane. Put the puppets in power and made them the enemy of the state. Old enough to remember the weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist. Do you see me as human yet? Because you keep calling me a terrorist, a legal immigrant, a gangster, thug, raghead, N-bomb, Paki, bomber, Taliban, King Kong. Monkey, Ching Chong, Muzi, Apu, yes. everything filthy under the motherfucking sun. Do you see me as human yet? Until then, fam, I don't see you as equal. Pluck out my eyes. Carve out my tongue. For I would rather not see if I have to speak. Bind my hands, for I would rather not lend them if I have to go out of my way with my own feet. Hard words for a hard world. Let me break it down. People would rather be shackled than find out what it takes to be free. Be blind than to stop an injustice. Be mute than to break conformity. Be lame than to go the extra mile to alleviate someone else's pain. Be I rather than us. Be alone rather than together. For that would mean to gather against the ruling authority of the day, but the day already given to the belly of indulgence swallowing the remains of any reason that would court itself with compassion. Instead, we passion for the fast lane, hoping if we go fast enough, we'll forget our own pain, never mind someone else's. But what if we could stop? To listen, to see, to speak, to move, to feel. 
we would find the answer. Lies in being the answer. Pluck out my eyes. Carve out my tongue. For I would rather not see if I have to speak. Bind my hands. For I would rather not lend them if I have to go out of my way with my own feet. Hard words for a hard world. Let us break it down. Okay, guys, can you please give a round of applause for everyone for round three? <laughs> so we are now on to our four for the final round. So outspoken, can you send someone to the stage? When all the world around you is bureaucracy and budgets, and the pressure to be phenomenally productive, no, that. It's supposed to be disorientating. Be careful. Remember, your existence is structured by imagination. First came the wings, and then the angel. I want to be a ballerina. <laughs> Managing director. Human rights lawyer. A spy. A boxer. A doctor. Someone with better posture. The winner of an Oscar. Jim Morrison from The Doors. The guitarist from The Cores. Someone who can fly away from these shores. To be honest, I just want to be someone who doesn't snore. <laughs> the editor of the university newspaper. Uh, Tomb Raider! <laughs> a teenage girl in a posh Swiss finishing school. Professional wrestler. Civil servant in the public sector. Wait for it. A bed tester. Proud owner of an industry standard metal detector. Me, but when I'm 18, I can do what I want. Me, when I was 18, and I had no worries in the world. Oh my god, Trini, the yellow Power Ranger. The red Power Ranger, Jason. The green one, Tommy. No, he was the white one. No, he was the green and white one. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I want to be a documentary filmmaker. Here we are, High Park Book Club. Homo sapiens, male and female, sit down and listen to words. Are they still listening? Do they even know what this piece is about? Check out after the break. <laughs> a militant anti-fracking protester. Professional nihilist. Mm. Porn star with a sports car. <laughs> Someone who is respected, inspired, and free. Who someone like me aspires to be. How did we all become armchair philosophers? Are we too young to care or too old to dream? I want to be. There was a loudness about us that society grabbed. And it was in the aspirations that we once had. Thank you. August 2011. Youths everywhere took to the streets with a page on Britain's history and spoke in the only language to which it listens. Violence. And it happened. It happened because we are failed. We're filled by teachers failing and failing schools, blazers to indoctrinate in the tie and suit, whilst academies are daycares for the damned to be. 
Estates that sells the stairs that bring you up, then take you down steps to depression, but we're too high to touch the sky. The news says those estates were ganglands governed by thugs. But it makes no sense because this country is the same, where leaders decide rules that do not rule them. Death to enemies, but they call it ill in police custody, while taxes on the poor are little more than thuggish extortion, leaving us cold, the hottest summer, rage rising. It happened because he grew up a stain in a neoliberal myth, but there are no money trees for shade or shelter. Apparently, accidentally, Grenfell burnt to the concrete, the scent of coloured bodies in that southern breeze, too charred for chalk lines, but out on those streets, they call it murder. That's where it's the hottest summer in memory. Not because of the sun, but sun sent to God. Too black for cows, so we've got to run harder to get somewhere. Whilst athleticism, whilst athleticism and scholarships are like pathways to something bigger, but rather feel to the house, get there and see. Still, nigger, the hottest summer, rage rising. It happened because we are ignored by those above, and our prayers do not reach our Lord. All lords, and there's nothing common about commons. They're more inclined to grow the column of the damned. See our rage on the screens, but they hear black noise when it's just us screaming for peace. We're bees on the edges of poisoned hives, except our queens were not blessed with wealth, but still turned one little social currency into a beautiful commodity, taught me that melanin is not an oddity. Because our queens quick carried quivers, quick firing shots to oppression, and carrying quills to narrate the progression, yet dealt the coldest selection, the hottest summer, rage rising. It happened because she is still boxed in. Double threat to an existence in an Orwellian reality. Because she got a triple think, twice lift, for that once upon a time, her black girl makes white man money. She got a triple his experience, have twice the years in profession, one more degree. And it's only when a black man dies does the IPCC remember we exist. But who's grieving for my sisters? Barely a footnote to the funeral program sheet. Injustice is always at our doors, like a cold caller, the hottest summer. Rage rising. And it happened seven years ago when rebels rose to deliver a hemorrhage to a society that considers them a disease. Roused by an unwilling martyr whose name was Duggan. Raised, boxed up by race, boxed in a house top. He took two shots, now he's buried in a wood box. Uncorking the bottle that trapped the rage of the day. A desire to destroy a society that doesn't see you. He, she, we, us, young lust, full of mistrusting police, knowing only regret. What did you expect? And we're still on the edge. Rest in peace, all the victims in Grand Bell Tories continue to tear us apart. They won't even give us maps to our dead end path. One day, 2011 will happen again. This is for the women who are designed but never loved all the way through. Maybe to feel like they are difficult to love by boys pretending to be men. Toying with our hearts like Lego, we learn the hard way to let go. Spending longer untangling from lovers than we did folding into them. Breathing them in with kisses, I let him touch every soft part of me. And confuse half-filled promises for love. Punished for simply wanting to know the difference between someone real and someone ciphering my value to gaslight this lust. I manipulated my self-image for a temporary solution to the empty side of the bed with my clothes. He took off my worth and fucked all his ego into me. <laughs> Made me believe. Made me believe that asking for less is more than I deserved. So I started leaving other men before they too realized I wasn't worth staying for. Do you, you know, know what, what happens, happens to a black girl who's lost her magic? She is hollowed out. Lays in a quiet morning of her own power, wondering why she wasn't goddess enough for a mortal, wishing she could time travel back to the day they met and build a scaffolding in her spine, trying her best not to equate being truly loved with asking for too much. My body, my body is, is not a rehabilitation center for fragile men who, who never plan on healing their own insecurities. 
hurt is a scab I pick at in the dark. I am an open wound. I am a weeping willow. I am drowning in my own existence, man. I am tired of describing my own pain. I am not made of metaphors. I am skin and bones and flesh. I am made of all the things that are real and not always strong. I am anger. That is grief that has stayed silent for too long. I have bled on people who never cut me. I've recited affirmations to the moon. I've turned to sisterhoods as holy temples of healing. I've surrendered to God and sought faith to love again. Not a man, but a woman staring back at me in the mirror, needing to forgive myself for carrying other people's burdens as my own for the women who are desired but never loved all the way through baby this has got nothing to do with you put them to the side don't answer their calls don't scroll through old messages don't check their socials don't block and unblock them you are too woman to feel insignificant you are too magnificent not to be magic one day love will come and it will want the whole of you like air in lungs and all the others will be a distant memory lingering in the past like the last line of this poem everybody knows that they're guilty everybody knows that they're blind Everybody knows that they're guilty Resting on their conscience, eating their insides I hold my fist up He's holding a gun With the power of humankind He's gonna run Strong and still with the backbone of my ancestors Shoot him down Lay to rest within my heart Bam! Bam! Now's the time where we can rest no longer. July 17, 2014. I can't, I can't breathe. breathe. Eric Garner, RIP, rest in police custody. I hold my anger like the way they held his neck. Vocal cords twisted, colours dots doesn't connect. Twister. Please sir, I don't want any more. Oliver, twist her. Let me save myself by running away. Like slave labor in night trainers. Out of sight, out of mind. But gun crimes are legalized by wearing a uniform. But you and I are ill-informed that our kind are deformed. Mutated generations when they're the ones with injections and medications to make us dumb, make us numb to our situation. Shh, or silence will come for you. I dream of a time when evolution has completely kicked the habit. No longer in transit, this brain that was once trained and contained is now free of this disease. Perpetual, habitual mind patterns forcing us to believe this mind control. The hijacking of the universal soul tricking us into submission. Our governments, our gospel, anxiety, our religion. Change your tradition, trusting in a system that's filling us with skepticism. No job, no money, no roof over your head, no time, no freedom from the thoughts spinning round in your head. Your inner child locked in a box under your bed, realising you're working for nothing and nothing's working, so what are you waiting for? Mentally ill systems create mentally ill wisdom. Disconnected people cry for our disconnected Britain, obsessing over social position. Kids don't believe anything you see on television. The news is rife with ridiculous superstition. Shh. Silence has come for you. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? Silence. Silence. Silence who? I know why the cage bird sings. Freedom. Freedom come. First they came for the Jews. And I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. Then they came for the Muslims. And I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. 
because I was not a Muslim. Freedom come. Then they came for the blacks. Hold and I did not speak out on. because I was not black. Then they came for me and there was no one left to speak out for me. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. There, there comes, comes a the time when silence is betrayal. We are here to educate. To inform. To rebel and refuse. To make waves. To, to speak, speak up. up. Now that we know the truth, there is no excuse. Let us rally and rise. Knock, knock. Who's there? We are! Okay, so in fourth place with 101.3. Third place with 101.5. Tonight was up there with some of the best nights because what you've got is you've got four open mic nights wanting to prove that they're the best. So they've all brought their A games. When we go to normal open mic nights, you see the same sort of people and you hear the same sort of stuff. But tonight, everyone absolutely smashed it, hoping to obviously win, win the title. It was brilliant. I think it worked really well. Um, the, like I say, the, the, the level... Of, of sort of entertainment was absolutely massive. The, the four people on stage at one time, I think is an amazing idea. I'd love to be able to do something like that. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, it was just it really well put together. Amazing. Good, it's amazing. been amazing, yeah. Yeah, it's been beautiful. Uh, absolutely incredible. Yeah, it blew, blew my mind. It was mm -hmm. some of the best spoken word that I've ever seen, I think. Yeah. Really powerful, impacting stuff. It's one of the best ones we've been to, is this? Yeah. I think it's been absolutely fantastic. I mean, I'm, we're a little bit old to be here, really, but the, the, vibrant, the vibrancy and the poetry, it's, I, I'm, I'm blown away with it. It's fantastic. Yeah. I, I'm a poet myself, and 
I, I couldn't write or perform like like they have done. They're, they're just fantastic. I wouldn't like to have been a judge. They were they were all superb. It's been a dream come true just to see all the poets in Leeds together, Completely all our favourite poets under one roof, one night, great audience. Um, it's Leeds represent. Mm. That's why yeah. it is. It, it's, Leeds. It's, it's the standard was so high tonight. It was oh, incredible. Yeah. Like the performances were off the chain. Loved it. It was the best Spoken Words event mm. I've been to. Obviously. Unhappy not to win, but yeah, really had fun tonight. It was amazing. Yeah. Um, oh, I loved it. It's yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's beautiful. Say it with your chest, if I remember correctly, and that was the one that kind of um, set the tone for me. So I really enjoyed that one. I just, I just poem was amazing. Am I still human? Do you see me as human? Oh, that one. That, yes. that was fantastic. Yes. Yeah. 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 I agree. I yeah. really liked that. Yeah, that, that was. But there were plenty of others as well. They were all, yeah. they were all really uh, good. Oh God, I don't know. Like uh, they were all really powerful. I, yeah. I didn't literally. I, I like the two girls at the end that did that really like raw, powerful, yeah. like piece with each other. That was and really cool. I thought Outspoken was good in that they tried to be different with the sign language. Um, I thought that was brilliant with a theme of silence. Um, the bit with Stephen Lentz, when it looked like he was arguing um, and they was taking the mic off each other, it was confusing at first because I was like, why don't you just both use a mic? But then it was the acting side that they needed to do that. Um, so I thought that it went from a bit weird to a positive spin. Um, Sunday practice, smash it every time. You know the, the level of sort of talent that they have is amazing, and I've never seen raw words before. Um, I've never seen any of them perform, and I was absolutely blown away. I can't believe that they um, scored so low. Um, I thought it was absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's just been really powerful, and um, like the subject of what everyone's been speaking about has just been like amazing and like hard hitting. And so kind of needed to hear it to be honest. So the other teams basically, all four teams were representatives of different nights that have gone on in Leeds. Um, so Sunday Practice, who were the winners tonight, um, uh, like the longest standing um, spoken word night, which happens once a month in Leeds. Um, ourselves, um, me and Kim created Raw Words as an offshoot of the Happy Caterpillar um, about a, a year or two ago. Um, We've done a couple of events at, at Roots and Fruits. Um, there was also Say It With Your Chest, um, which is a really great event um, that Ty and Addy put together, um, who are great poets as well. And um, Outspoken at LS6, just across the road, that's a regular monthly event as well. It was a really interesting mm. format, with mm. like that four by four thing, yeah. and the group pieces. I think it brought out quite a different thing, mm. like a sort of a real performance aspect, which was just unique. Yeah. It takes time, effort, yeah. memorising poems, writing new poems mm -hmm. and synchronising and remembering mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. It's a lot of effort and not to even go to win it. There's no point. I know we say points ain't the point, the point is the poetry, yeah. but if you're going to put time and effort in, you've got to try yeah. and win it. You're all in it, you put your sweat, blood and tears into it <laughs> and that's literally what we did. The second in the end, mm. which was great, but then each one it's not you, you're like, oh, is, yeah. it, is it going to be us? It, yeah. Is it going to be us? But right. I, find it, I thought Sunday practice, like, yeah. very deserving of that. I know that there's so many great artists in Leeds and I wanted to bring them all in under in one roof. And to have this vision and to see it come alive, it's just like the best feeling. It's the best thing. Like, it's been really, really amazing. Yeah, I'm going to be at the next one. Definitely, definitely yeah. Yeah, I'd definitely come back. Um, if somebody else hosted, I'd like to bring a team to be part of it. Next year, hopefully, be bigger and uh, better, yeah. more teams. Yeah. Of course, we've got to defend shout our title. Kim. Yeah, <laughs> shout Kim. out Kim. Yeah, shout out Kim. The thing yeah. is that there was no, there was no bad performances tonight. Like every team was yeah, strong. Amazing. Do you know what I mean? Really strong. Yeah, definitely. I think we should definitely do this again, at least next year, if not sooner. But um, we'll let a little breathing space, let people recover from <laughs> the barrage of <laughs> truth <laughs> and emotion <laughs> and pure poetry that they've experienced tonight, um, and then we'll hit them again sometime soon.